Bonjour à tous. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the press conference for the match opposing England to France tomorrow at Albaid Stadium at 10 p.m. Housekeeping information before we start. Language available for this press conference will be French, English, and Arabic. Once you have a question, please raise your hand, introduce yourself, and uh, also use one of the translated language. For photographers, I'll ask you to take pictures for the first five minutes, and then we'll ask you to stop. Finally, for all, uh, everybody, please mute your phone and turn off the hotspot. Now it's time to start with the questions. Gentlemen in the back here. Oui, bonjour Hugo, François Verdenet. Good morning, François Verdenet, l'équipe. Of course, you know England very well. Have you given advice to your teammates about the English players, particularly about set pieces, which will be one of the key points in this match? Of course, the English are well known all over the world, uh, thanks to their Premier League, frank thanks to their uh, clubs, which are very well known um, in European competitions. And most of our players know them very well. Uh, we're quite used to playing against them. Um, for some of us, of course, we um, play with them and train with them on a daily basis. And uh, if we can help uh, our teammates uh, with any particular knowledge that we have about them, then of course we do them. Uh, we do that. And on set pieces, yes, that's one of their strengths. Uh, they're very tall and they have uh, some good players uh, who take uh, good free kicks. I think every little detail is going to count uh, in this match. Uh, so that's why set pieces are very important. So we're going to have to be very uh, strong. Uh, but um, in terms of our attack, we also have what it takes um, to make it difficult for them. But yes, that's one of the aspects of the match uh, where we're going to have to be strong. Uh, I'm from Sudwest. A lot has been said about Kylian Bappe this week after his match uh, and his uh, chat duel with uh, 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 with uh, Kyle Walker, do you think he can uh, make the difference or do you think uh, we overplayed that aspect? No, I think uh, Killian is preparing very well. He's trying to ignore a lot of the talk about him. Um, it's really not something he needs. He is very focused on his uh, objectives, individually and collectively. He seems very happy, he's playing uh, with a smile on his face, and he seems very focused on the match ahead of us. And that's how he's uh, looked uh, since the very beginning of this tournament. Good morning, I'm a junior from Tunisia, and I have a question in Arabic. Regarding the goalkeeper, the Moroccan goalkeeper, Bono, how do you assess his performance? Do you think he is one of the elite goalkeepers we are perceiving, we are seeing nowadays? Oui, je le connaissais déjà. Yes, I knew him already um, before this World Cup uh, because of his performance in Spain uh, with uh, Sevilla. And yes, I do think that he's one of the best goalkeepers uh, in this tournament. And he was uh, decisive uh, in the match against Spain. And it's thanks uh, to him uh, that uh, they've uh, managed to get through uh, to uh, the next round. And uh, I'm sure uh, that uh, he will continue to show that he's one of the best uh, goalkeepers around. And that's one of the great things about a World Cup. Uh, it gives the opportunity to see uh, players uh, that may play in uh, less uh, well-known teams um, and leagues, um, but are among the most talented players in the world. Good morning, Baptiste de Frey, uh, Le Figaro. How do you see the rival rivality between uh, the rivalry between France and England? And you've been playing in England for a long time now. Uh, what's most English about you? My two um, last uh, children who were born in England, um, my daughters who were growing up in England, 
um, in a French school, uh, in a French, uh, rather in an English school, but with a French um, education, if you like, from their family. But yes, there is a rivalry between England and France, uh, and there has been uh, for some time. They're two major footballing nations. But you see that uh, rivalry as well in other sports like rugby. And uh, since we're here at the World Cup, we know that uh, they are two very strong teams. So that uh, um, clearly uh, leads to great matches. And at the World Cup, France-England is always a special match. But as players, we need uh, to make sure that we are um, up to a quarterfinal uh, of the World Cup, whoever we're playing. Uh, we are doing everything we can uh, to make sure that we are ready. Um, but obviously, England is also an ambitious uh, country. They've come here to win the World Cup. And so it's going to be a very tough uh, game. And uh, that's uh, the type of game that we all love. Uh, so it's up to us to do what uh, we can to win this game. Please, please stop. Thank you. Next question. <laughs> Hi, Hugo. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, Hugo, over here. Uh, David McDonnell from the Daily Mirror. Question in, in English. Uh, many of the French team, yourself included, have been here before, obviously winning the World Cup four years ago. And, uh, from your experience, how much of an advantage does that give you over England mentally in terms of having been there and, and knowing what it takes to get the job done? Um, to be honest with you, um, if we compare both sides, uh, there were more English players at the World Cup in, in, in Russia than uh, French players. Uh, and if you look uh, at the English squad, um, there were some finalists at uh, the World Cup. Uh, they were runner-up in, uh, in, in, at the last Euro. And uh, there is a real progression. And, um, and I believe that this team uh, is getting mature and ready to, to, to compete uh, for, for trophies now. Um, they were a bit unlucky at the last Euro. They came very close, um, but uh, they are here to win. No? In our side, uh, uh, there was a lot of changes uh, with a new generation of players. Um, who are ready to compete because they all play in the uh, best team, best club in Europe. But uh, but we have a good mixture uh, between experienced players and, and young players, and um, and we try to you know to develop ourselves to to become stronger uh, step by step, and um, and we have to make sure that we will be ready to challenge England uh, on on Saturday because. Um, it's going to be a big battle. So um, there is everything for, for a big game, and, um, and now uh, it's up to the players to, to perform. Bonjour Hugo, Damien Degore, l'équipe, ici. And a question from l'équipe. You know that in England, uh, sometimes refereeing is uh, slightly different, and uh, they allow more um, physical challenges on goalkeepers. And uh, do you think uh, you're going to have to show a different face when it comes to set pieces than you would usually because of that aspect? Um, the British media seem to have identified you as one of the weak points uh, in the French team. What would you reply to them? No, I have nothing to tell them uh, in a, a press conference. Uh, I have no message for the English media. Um, I'll do my talking on the pitch. And we have to ignore that type of talk. We don't need any extra motivation from outside uh, to play in the quarterfinals of the, of the World Cup. But having said that, they have their views, and I respect them. And we're going to have to um, do our talking on the pitch. On set pieces, yes, uh, it is different in England. Refereeing is slightly different um, when it comes to set pieces. There are more physical challenges uh, uh, in the English league than in other uh, European leagues, uh, and they, they don't necessarily get blown up for a foul. But uh, generally speaking, the English players are very honest in, in these challenges, and sometimes the goalkeeper can be blocked off, uh, and there can be fouls uh, on the goalkeeper, uh, which sometimes are uh, given. And we just have to adapt uh, to different uh, contexts. And that's what I've done throughout my career. And things are very different when you get to um, European 
matches uh, compared to the English league. Uh, so yes, it's a factor that you could uh, take into account, but you shouldn't overemphasize it. Um, you need to make the right choices on the pitch and set pieces uh, will be important uh, and uh, we'll have to be up to the challenge. In English, please. Um, when you're at Tottenham, uh, have you saved Harry Kane's penalties in training? And um, if it does go to penalties, with your analysis, would you know where the England players would be placing their, their penalties? Oh, you know, better than me, uh, Harry uh, has the ability to shoot anywhere. Uh, so it can be on my right, on my left, in the middle. Um, he's uh, one of the best probably uh, on this uh, aspect of the game. But, uh, but obviously, uh, for Harry or, or the other English players, uh, there will be an analysis on, uh, on um on penalties, but uh, and then uh, it's all about feeling, all about instinct uh, that you get uh, uh, during the the match, no. So, um, uh, but before to arrive on the penalty shootout, there is uh, uh, the time to make the difference on the pitch, and um, and uh, but we'll see, we'll see because it will be a tough game, it will be a, a big game, and. Um, and um, anything can become decisive for for both teams. So we, we have to be ready for for any scenario. Bonjour Hugo, Vincent Romain. Good morning, Vincent Romain Sudouet. Can you talk about your performances since the beginning of this World Cup? How do you see the way you're playing? And uh, y your game with the ball, playing the ball out from the back, uh, it looks like you've been taking a few risks. Well, that's not up to me to judge. You might have different views about that. But the most important thing is uh, to try to play to the best of your abilities and to help the team when it needs your help and uh, to try and uh, be decisive when you can. In terms of uh, my kicking, Every team is trying to put the goalkeeper under pressure um, when they have the ball at their feet. Um, but that's also what uh, France is trying to do. Um, teams are trying to press uh, the opponents, try to put them under difficulty. And sometimes uh, you have to make tough choices and you don't always make the right ones when you have the ball at your feet. But uh, at this stage in the tournament, um, you need to try and be as perfect as you can um, so that you don't put your team under any unnecessary difficulty. So I hope that replies your question. I'm not sure it has. Good morning. Dorian Boyemi, RMC. Can you talk about your relationship uh, with Harry Kane? What does he represent for you? And how do you prepare uh, to face him in uh, the quarterfinals of the World Cup? And that's someone that you are very close to on a daily basis. We have a very strong relationship. Uh, we've been playing together for about nine years now, so we know each other very well, uh, both on and off the pitch. And I only have uh, positive things to say about Harry. He's a very important player for the team, for the club, and uh, indeed for the England team as well. He's a real leader. Um, he is an example for his uh, teammates. And he's a top player. He's been decisive for his club and uh, very often he makes the difference. And like all of the players uh, Sam, uh, on Saturday, um, every player is going to be determined to try and get their team through to the next round. Um, Harry's someone who's known all over the world, so I don't think uh, I can really add too much to what's already known. But he'll be an opponent uh, and uh, we'll both be representing our countries. And so I'm sure that our focus will be on that. This question will be for gentlemen here. Uh, Nigel Adley from Talksport. Question in English, please. 
how much responsibility do you feel you have as a, as a senior player in the French squad to maybe help the younger players through the preparation in a game like this? Um, play in the best team in, in Europe, so they know how to deal with the pressure. Uh, but uh, as you say, the, uh, there is... Um, some players who were involved um, the last few years in important competitions. Uh, they were involved uh, on the last World Cup. Um, and, um, and we can obviously lead uh, these, these players. We, we can help them, uh, uh, you know, uh, to talk uh, about details. Uh, but, but, you know, they are ready for, for, for that type of games. Uh, they are all excited uh, to face uh, one of the best nation of uh, of the world and um, and uh, and I think we are all ready for, for, for that. You know, it's a quarter final of the World Cup. It's a huge event, and uh, and uh, we know what it means for for the players, for the fans, for all the all nation, and uh, and we really want to to push forward and, and and to go to the next stage. But but it's the same case for for English players. So uh, again, there is. No much to say uh, because um, it's a big game and uh, and it's all about what is going to happen on on, on the field. Thank you, Hugo. <coughs> Merci. Merci. Now we're going to welcome the coach Didier Deschamps.